Next week, we'll be discussing Nosferatu. Tom, how was your first watch? I'm not entirely sure when my first watch was. It might actually have been this week. Part of the reason I say that is this movie is so popular that it sort of, you see it everywhere. Um, It's become its own meme over and over again. You see it in commercials, on television, referenced in other things. I'm pretty confident that I have seen it from beginning to end before, uh, but I'm sure I've seen scenes from it or even images from it more frequently than I've seen the actual picture from beginning to end. I have read Dracula more than once, the the source material, and I've also worked on a, a project about the legal cases surrounding the making of this film and Florence Stoker's lawsuit against the against Prana Films, which is the, the film company or Prana Film, the film company that made this. And so I have actually a lot invested in this movie over the years, uh, just from trying to like research 1920s German intellectual property law, uh, which is actually a fascinating story, which not only involves um, Florence Stoker and these kind of German expressionists, but this kind of illegal smuggling of the film out of Germany, thanks to people like uh, H.G. Wells and George Bernard Shaw. So I've spent a lot of time with this movie in in many different ways. Um, So I guess my, so I I have a similar thing with Tom. I, although I have seen the movie, I know I've seen the movie before. Um, I first saw the movie in 2011 and I remember I was watching, it actually was in like the winter of 2011 because I was living in London at the time. Um, and I got this movie on like, uh, like I, I downloaded it on like Apple from the Apple store. So that was my first time actually ever watching this movie. And up to that point, I'd seen silent films before I'd had to watch them for um, some classes, but I'd never really liked them. Um, And I I watched this movie and that's sort of part of the reason why I kind of started watching more silent films was because of this movie. But I've probably, that was the first time I've actually seen this movie and I've seen it a number of times um, since then. But I I definitely, I've read the book. um, First time I read the book was in 2007. So I've read the book and then I've seen sort of references to this material uh and to the to the book um for many many years i remember the first time i actually ever saw a reference to it was in uh that old there's an old computer game uninvited um and they make a reference to nosferatu in that movie so that was actually the first time i'd ever even heard of it and then i remember i like googled it and i was kind of looking up like exactly what the movie was and then um so that's that's sort of my first overall experience with this movie I remember seeing clips of it like in uh, montages with other monsters like Dracula and Frankenstein. And I I specifically remember this, this vampire because he looks quite different from the other thirties well, the thirties classic films. And I even remember asking my mom like, Oh, who is that one? And she either didn't know or tried to explain what a silent film was. Um, But this was the second silent film I had, had seen Uh, the first one I had, I'd gotten Ben Hur from the library on Blu-ray the Charlton Heston one. And on the Blu-ray was also a, a silent film that was Ben-Hur. Um, and I remember trying to watch that and that was a tough watch, but I'm like, oh, maybe I'll try another one. So I tried Nosferatu. This was, I don't know, a few years ago. Um, but this time I kind of just watched it on my laptop. Um, I was surprised how much, how many title cards and narration cards there were, but I'm sure we'll get into that in the, in the, uh, in the episode. Um, but yeah, just a straightforward watch. This is similar to a lot of other people who already talked about this film, but I felt like I had already witnessed this movie, even though I hadn't, because they referenced it so in so many places. That specific portrayal of a Dracula creature is very unique, like KJ was just saying. And I, I don't know why it's been so, I don't know why it took me so long to finally watch this film. And I, I enjoyed it. And specifically that scene you always see where he like, rises from the ground <laughs> it's it's really cool uh, that's the part i just remember seeing that clip over and over in, in various different sources and now i can actually see it in context 